So we're here today for the very first time in what's going to be the studio corner of our new uh, new facility here in Austin. Uh, so, the, so it's a first attempt. Uh, I've got a very, very nice mural here, and uh, I hope it, it all comes together nicely. So the, we're here today to discuss our third round of micro grants. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the other ones, this is a, a four-figure level grant that we're doing. We're trying to do more of, select a few every month that people within FUDO uh, want to recommend for open source projects uh, that they use or that they know people who use that could use a little boost or just deserves a thank you for having been used all these years. Uh, so every micro grant has a champion, as we call it, somebody who works here and wants to talk about it. So I'll start with mine. It's the GIMP, the good old GIMP. Uh, it's been around since the 1990s. There was a long time when you really had three options. You could buy Photoshop for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. You could steal Photoshop, or you could use GIMP. And needless to say, I used the third option for most of my time, made countless memes, designs, uh, photo editing. It, it's been endlessly useful. I won't claim to be anything close to the, the top uh, GIMP guru, but it's enough that it definitely deserves a thank you, and I'm, I'm glad that they get a micro-grant this month. So today I am championing Darktable, which is a photo editing software. Uh, it's not unlike Photoshop. I've used it to uh, edit a lot of photos that I shoot at parties and events. And it's a little bit more simple than Photoshop. It doesn't quite have everything that Photoshop has, but it's really great for uh, beginner photographers. And it's got a lot of really cool features. It actually, as far as uh, base photo editing goes, it has almost everything that Photoshop has, you know, in terms of... Uh, changing the colors, color correction, color grading, uh, uh, saturation, um, you know, uh, just being able to manipulate photos in, in that kind of way. Uh, things that you would be able to do in a film lab. It's got great uh, presets that you can build in. And uh, it makes it so that if you are new to photo editing, you can have it set to basically like beginner, medium, or like more advanced uh, level where you know you get more and more options so it's pretty easy to to get into and to learn how to master and it runs really well and it also takes raw uh photo files which is great and uh yeah so that's why we're giving it a micro grant of a thousand dollars this month so harpo what are you championing today so our next project is uh, KeyCAD, and we were originally reminded about KeyCAD from a YouTube comment on our last uh, microgrants video. So KeyCAD is a piece of software you can use to design uh, PCBs, you know, electronic uh, electronic circuits, and then have them manufactured. Uh, KeyCAD is the uh, last piece of uh, CAD software that I used uh, when I when I was doing a circuit layout, and um, yeah, it's a great alternative to something like something proprietary like Eagle. So last but not least, uh, Aiden, what are you championing today? So this month, I'm championing um, FFmpeg. FFmpeg is basically the backbone for almost all video things nowadays, especially open source projects. Um, if you look at VLC, if you look at Handbrake, it's all using FFmpeg behind the scenes. Even big tech companies like, um, I, I, I think, Google, um, use FFmpeg because it's just great software, and it allows anyone to do this incredibly complex thing, which is encoding uh, highly compressed video uh, for free, and it's open source. Um, and that's why we'd like to give them a micro grant for this month. So if any of these projects that we talked about in this micro grants video interest you at all, we will have links to where you can find them in the description below. We really encourage you to go and check them out. And if you end up really liking them, consider, you know, throwing a few bucks uh, their way to help uh, open source, you know, engineers at least make a little bit of money. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next month's micro grant video. If you have any suggestions about what should be included in it, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell, smash that like. And as always, if you don't master your computer, your computer will become your master. So true. <laughs>